Hello friends, today we will be discussing about plasma displays and its working. A plasma display panel PDP is a type of flat panel display common to large TV displays 30 inches that is 76 cm or larger. They are called plasma displays because they use small cells containing electrically charged ionized gases which are plasmas as shown in the picture. Here are some general characteristics of plasma displays. Plasma TVs are bright, that is 1000 lux or higher. They have a white color gamut and can be produced in fairly large sizes, up to 3.8 meters, that is 150 inches, diagonally. The problem with plasma display is that they can get very hot on use, reaching temperatures up to 1200 degrees Celsius. On an average, the lifetime of plasma display is 27 years with 10 hours of daily usage. Now, we will understand the working of a plasma display TV. The long electrodes are placed vertically between the glass plate and front end of the cells. The address electrodes sit behind the cells along the rear glass plate and can be opaque. Both type of electrodes are covered by an insulating protective layer. Now, the control circuitry will charge only those electrodes that cross paths at the cell creating a voltage drop across it. This ends up creating plasma and further emission of the desired waves resulting in the display. There exist millions of tiny compartments between two panels of glass in the outermost layer. The working is quite analogous to a fluorescent lamp. The cells contain a mixture of noble gases and minuscule amount of other gases. When high voltage is applied, the plasma gets formed inside them. When electricity starts to flow, some of the electrons strike mercury particles resulting in emission of UV photons. These high energy UV photons fall on the phosphor coating in the plasma cells. This results in further release of photons which lie in infrared as well as visible region. By varying the phosphor used, different colors of light can be achieved. Each pixel of plasma screen contains three cells for three primary colors, red, green and blue. Varying the relative voltages of three cells, the desired color can be achieved. It is capable of producing deeper blacks, allowing for superior contrast ratio. It supports wider viewing angles than those of LCD. Images do not suffer from degradation at less than straight ahead angles like LCDs. There is less visible motion blur owing to very high refresh rates and a faster response time, contributing to superior performance when displaying content with significant amounts of rapid motion. It does not work as well at high altitudes above 6500 feet or 2000 meters due to pressure differential between the gases inside the screen and the outer atmospheric pressure. It may cause a buzzing noise. On an average, it uses more electrical power and it may result in gradual decline in image brightness or distorted display. Image burn-in occurs when the same picture is displayed for longer periods. This causes phosphors to overheat losing some of their luminosity and producing a shadow image that is visible even with power off. Screen burn-in is nothing but an extreme case of image retention. Thanks for watching. This video was made by Mohit Goel and Nimesh Goel. Did using Paltoon.